to a man charged with first degree arson by Hollywood police. Investigators are looking into whether he may have been involved in another crime. Local 10 News reporter Madeline Wright joins us live. She tells us how this may be connected to a deadly discovery inside a burning car just last month. Okay, so they're putting these clues together, right, Madeline? That's right, Christy Janice. Cops are looking into whether the arson suspect was involved in any way with the murder of his pregnant girlfriend. Right now, he's locked up here at the main jail in Broward County. Today, a judge decided to increase his bond from $20,000 to $30,000. Mr. Perkins, is that you, sir? 26-year-old Keith Martin Perkins appeared before a judge this morning to face two counts of arson. Jail records show Hollywood police arrested him on Friday. Detectives haven't said if his arrest is connected to the homicide victim found dead in the trunk of a burning car on Thomas Street back on April 18th. It was only after firefighters put out the flames that they found the woman's body in the car. Prosecutors say the car he set fire to is close to the home of someone he knows personally. One of the residents advised that if it wasn't for first responders, since this occurred while they were all sleeping, she believes they would have died. The homicide victim, 25-year-old Jasmine Gilliam, was Perkins' girlfriend, according to loved ones. Gilliam had apparently just learned she was pregnant with her first child. It's unclear whether Perkins was the father. At one point this morning, Perkins tried to speak during his bond hearing. Can I say one thing? No, not, not yet. Sir, sir. Um, I suggest you don't say anything. Let your lawyer talk. Perkins has not been charged with Gilliam's death, only arson. Gilliam's family and friends have held several candlelight vigils to honor her memory and demand that her killer be brought to justice. Back live at the jail, Perkins has a lengthy rap sheet over the years he's been charged with burglary, grand theft, and criminal mischief. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.